Hello everyone, I'm Elpoon, and today we'll be taking a look at some of the awesomely unique weapons found in Borderlands 2. No two weapons are alike in the world of Pandora, so I'm sure we will come across some pretty strange tools of destruction. Let's get started. The first weapon we have here is a pistol with a very unique reload capability, the TDR Peppy Power Shot. Now what's so special about this pistol? You can tell it's pretty average stats, it's a damage of 22, higher accuracy, a pretty good fire rate, and a pretty normal reload speed with a good magazine sight. What's the catch? See for yourself. Instead of reloading like a conventional weapon, you actually throw this weapon and it blows up at your enemy's feet. Um, it's pretty good for finishing weaker enemies and it's definitely something unique that it brings to the Borderlands world that we haven't seen before. Our second weapon is the Torg Sputtering Spitter. This is a fairly decent rifle for the beginning of the game. When it lacks in firing rate, it makes up for explosive damage. Let's take a look here. So you can tell it's a pretty funky looking weapon. Um, like I said, the firing rate is not great at all. It actually takes a while to spin the barrels and actually start shooting. But once you get that puppy you're rolling, the explosive damage really makes up for it as you can tell here in the gameplay. If there are enemies close enough by, the weapon will actually do splash damage to any enemies in a certain vicinity. All in all, this is a fairly decent gun to start out the beginning of the game with. Although in my opinion, the firing rate is not good enough to compete with other weapons you'll pick up early. The explosive damage does make up for it, but not quite good enough to trash it. Our third weapon is a small pistol that packs a big punch. The Jacobs Field Revolver has a very good damage for a beginning pistol to go along with great accuracy and a fire rate that is ultimately dependent on your trigger finger. Looking at the weapon, we can definitely tell it's a Jacobs by its Wild West wooden look and it also happens to have a pretty neat scope on it. I'm actually still using this pistol as of now, and I'm a level 8. Its power, firing rate, and accuracy make it a deadly sidekick to have at your side when faced with mid to long range enemies. It also happens to look pretty damn cool when you're pulling the hammer back and shooting from the hip. So all in all, I highly recommend this weapon if you haven't found it yet. And the chances are you probably never will, and that's the glory of Borderlands, people. As you can see, I'm mowing down these fucking yetis like it's nothing. The next weapon is a sniper exclusive that you receive specifically from Gearbox for pre-ordering the game. So some of you may never see this, so take it all in while you're here. The Gearbox Calipine is a Jacob sniper rifle that has decent stats for a beginning weapon. It also has a super bright yellow finish for all those covert sniper operations you may encounter. Other than the fact that it's a pre-order exclusive, there really is nothing great about this weapon, and Gearbox must hate us all for making it suck so much. Um, sniping's not really my cup of tea, um, I'm waiting to find some pretty cool snipers because I know there's a lot in Borderlands 1, so uh, as you can tell it's not really a one hit one kill weapon. Uh, for all you sniping gurus out there, if you ever run across this weapon, if you pre-order the game, which you should have from the very beginning, uh, it's not great. I recommend throwing it in the trash can or selling it as fast as you can. I think you can get about 70 in-game dollars, which is about as good as the shit stain here in the real world, folks. Our last weapon here is pretty much a glorified flare gun. You get this weapon from that Psycho Flint, and it's appropriately named Flint's Tinderbox. This is a pretty ordinary pistol other than the fact that it melts faces off, literally. The burn damage a second is actually quite good, and you can clearly tell from all these melting yetis around me. Well guys, that's going to do it for episode 1. Please, this is a new series. Please let me know what you liked, what you did not like. And I will be back soon with hopefully even crazier weapons. And uh, I guess we'll just see what comes along. You know, with Borderlands, you never know, guys. Thank you for watching. And fucking let's take back Pandora.